This is MFR Off-Road Rider back with another video. I'm on the 2020, back on the 2021 Honda CRF 300L Rally. I did a video last week of, uh, on my, my last video was a TT250 video I hadn't done in a long time and uh, really pleasantly, pleasantly surprised on the amount of views I got. Which is awesome. Uh, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my videos and giving me thumbs ups and all the positive comments. Much appreciated. I'm up to 320 subscribers. This will be my 164th video. Yeah, I was looking for this place a buddy told me about. Uh, but I didn't seem to find the turn off or either that or it's behind a locked gate I'm not sure which but he gave me directions and I didn't see it so so I'm just gonna ride back on highway 36 back uh, west back to highway 101 in Northern California so yeah let's get started I got uh, 376 miles on the CRF 300L rally liking it a lot I was, uh, I don't know if anybody watches uh, the Itchy Boots. Itchy Boots uh, YouTube channel. She travels around uh, all around the world. And uh, she's getting ready to start her season six. And uh, she bought a she bought a 300L rally brand new uh, to tackle the South Africa to Alaska and uh, that's pretty awesome because uh, that means the bikes she feels is really reliable and uh, and things like that you know she could have chose any bike she wanted but anyway if you get a chance check her channel out she's getting ready to head back to uh, South Africa and do a uh, ride from South Africa to Alaska on a 300L rally, which is awesome. Pretty nice day today on December 3rd. Uh, it's starting to get a little chillier, but we haven't had any hard frost as of, to speak of yet, so sun's out, might as well be riding. I had a guy, I had a, a subscriber make a comment, or a viewer, I'm not sure which, but uh, he asked if if the CRF was a little too tall for him because he's 5'8", and I'm like, just I think it just depends on your weight because there is a lot of uh, suspension sag. I think I measured it at... Uh, with me sitting on it at 200 pounds, uh, it's at like 32 inches, the seat height. So, like I said, if your inseam's 32 or longer, I don't see any problem with uh, being able to ride this bike. You know, like there's this guy or this this gal who rides a, a BMW uh, 1250 GS, and she's like 5'3 or something. So, I mean, it can be done, yeah, it makes it a little bit more, uh, I think that's the road right there, but it's got a gate around it, so, yeah, I guess I won't be going that way. But anyway, uh, she can ride that, so like I said, if you're determined that that's the bike you want, you know, there's ways, you know, I mean, you could lower it, but then you're talking less ground clearance and things of that nature. So, you gotta sacrifice something, you know, sometimes. This is uh, a little swimming, air, swimming spot down here. The summertime is a good swimming hole. It's pretty crowded. Normally, the the uh, cars fill up this parking lot completely, so there's not even a place to park. But but there's a pretty nice old trail. This is 
if you punch up this trail or you, you punch up the name uh, Cheatham Grove uh, this is what comes up there's a nice foot trail down there uh, yeah nice walk through the, the grove there visors fogging up but uh just too bad there wasn't a little bit more better you know more parking here but yeah if you get uh up in northern california and you're on highway 36 i suggest stopping off at uh the cheatham grove another spot right down here where you can park and walk through the redwoods there to get to another good swimming hole down there a lot of pretty good hiking trails around here And camping and camping spots. They got a basketball game to go to tonight and a tournament tomorrow. So I figured, figured I'd get out and get a video, hopefully today, you know, today, and then uh, maybe I'll have time to do one tomorrow, but Sunday, I, uh, Sunday I'm going to go do uh, a UNBC toy run, it's uh, local, it's uh, probably, I don't know how many years they've been doing it, but it's a toy, toy drive or toy run for, for Toys for Tots and uh i've done it two or three times they uh meet in arcada and then they go in a big group it's all bikes uh more harleys than anything else but uh it's not bike specific and anyway it goes from arcada uh out through samoa and then comes into eureka and then finishes out in eureka at the uh, moose lodge where they treat you to a free spaghetti lunch and then you drop off your toys and then they do a little speech and I don't know talk about the toy drive and stuff like that I think they might even have some drawings or something but anyway it's a pretty good time you know it's a good cause gets toys for uh, kids who are less fortunate so my uh, weekends gonna be pretty full this weekend and then there's another toy drive I think it's the following weekend it's down in uh, southern Humboldt Garberville and uh, they do the same thing they meet and then they uh, get the toys this I don't think it's as far as a, far as a drive or far as a ride between the start and finish but they normally race get quite a few toys gathered up and most people who do the one in northern northern Humboldt do the southern Humboldt as well so it looks like the weather is going to be cooperative I know they've had it a couple times well one of the times I went it was so cold like Man, my hands were just aching by the time I got there, which arcade is like 20 miles from my house, so on the highway. So I remember it was pretty chilly that morning. But if you're here local in uh, Humboldt County, you should go check out the toy, toy run.
Okay, I'm going to call next week, see how much it's going to set me back on my uh, 600 mile service. That should be coming up here pretty quick. Next couple weeks probably. Maybe a little longer. It just depends on how much, how much time I get to ride according to the weather, you know, depending on the weather. I don't mind riding in the rain except it's hard to, to video and do uh, motor vlogs in the rain because the raindrops distort the video so and then if you use a protective case then you don't have the audio so makes it kind of tough I just don't understand why people won't take their scrap cars to the to the scrap yard and you know I mean if they don't get nothing it doesn't cost them nothing you know like I don't know why people dump cars on the side of the road and stuff just don't make any sense they can recycle that and then it costs the state more you know pretty dumb was a trail that ran up past the substation up here and someone told me oh there's a there's a trail that goes way up in the wood you know way up in the trees and the, up in the hills and so I, I mean a buddy came up here and we're looking for it and man we couldn't find the road like it's just disappeared or I don't know it was right here somewhere somewhere along here there was a road that went back up in there I never could find it Either that or it was overgrown, one of the two. Yeah, left to right, left to right, left to right. It's the second time someone's told me, oh, go up here and turn on this road, and, and then that, so there's nothing there, you know. It's either a lock gate or you just can't seem to find the road, you know. I know a guy lives up here at the end of this road. Cool little road. This bridge is slick. Yeah, you can tell this you can definitely hear the soft suspension when you're hitting a lot of uh, whoops or a lot of bumps and, and stuff you can hear the rear end just chattering brrr, chattering you know from the softer suspension especially on the washboard you can really hear it but it is what it is you know they try to keep it affordable and that's how they do it Can't keep something cheap if you don't cut corners on. My buyers are smoking up again. Can't uh, save. You can't cut corners without cutting the 
performance parts out, you know, if you gave a bike all high performance like KTM or BMW, you know, you just got an expensive bike into the line. They log out here too, so it's pretty cool though. Guy I know lives up that road there. Looks like they widened the turn a little bit. Can't remember the name of this road. And there's not a sign down there either, so. But yeah, it's right off of Highway 36, though. Right before Carlotta. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end this video right here. I'm just going back down the same road I came up. So, no new uh, scenery. But, yeah, I'd like to thank all my viewers and subscribers for watching my video content. And give me thumbs ups and all the comments. Much appreciated. I'm going to try to do a TT250 video once every six, seven, or eight videos I do. So... Be prepared for that and like I said uh, I'm doing this just for fun and, and enjoyment and uh, content for YouTube and uh, yeah so uh, if you like my content give me a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell for the release of my next video. This is MFR Off-Road Rider. See you on the next one. Later.